In this quick tutorial, I have four examples prepared on how to find the amount of stock solution needed to prepare a desired solution. Before we start answering these questions, let's begin by understanding what a stock solution is. Stock solutions are solutions of known concentration that are prepared by the pharmacist or technician for convenience in dispensing. They are usually strong solutions from which weaker ones may be made conveniently. When correctly prepared, these solutions enable the pharmacist to obtain small quantities of medicinal substances that are to be dispensed in solution. The very first question reads, how much in milliliters of a 1 to 400 weight per volume stock solution should be used to make 4 liters of a 1 to 2000 weight per volume solution? I want to begin this calculation by reminding you of an important formula that we've been using in the past two videos which looks something like this. Q sub 1 times C sub 1 is equal to Q sub 2 times C sub 2, where the left side of the equation, specifically this factor, represents the quantity of the stock solution multiplied to its concentration, written as C sub 1, is equal to the quantity of the solution we are creating times its concentration. So think of the left side as the before and the right side as the after. What we've been told in the question is the fact that the final solution will have a volume of 4 liters, but they want the answer to be in milliliters. So let's go ahead and convert 4 liters into milliliters and substitute that value in for Q2. So 4 liters made into milliliters goes like this. Remember that there are 1,000 milliliters for every one liter. So I'll write down 1,000 milliliters at the top over one liter at the bottom. This unit and that unit cancel out, leaving us with 4,000 milliliters. Now you don't have to necessarily convert it in this way. You can convert it any way that you feel comfortable. So I'll replace 4,000 in for Q2. And the concentration of the final solution, the one being diluted, since we're going from a ratio of 1 to 400 to 1 to 2,000, the concentration of the diluted solution is this, this ratio of 1 to 2,000. Now to help you understand what that means, that's the same thing as 1 over 2,000. 1 over 2,000, written as a decimal, is 5 times 10 to the power of negative 4, or in other words, 0 0.0005. That value will get placed in for C2, 0 0.0005, and it is unitless. Notice no units are written next to it. On the left side of the equation, we don't know Q1. In fact, that's what we're looking for. We are looking for the amount, how much, stock solution we need. So I'll leave Q1 the way it is. And its concentration can be found using the same sort of idea as we did over here. 1 over 400, using our calculator, is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3, or in other words, 0 0.0025. I'll place this value in for C1. From here, all we have to do is solve for Q1. And that can be done by multiplying these two factors first. So 4,000 times 0 0.0005. The right side is equal to 2. And on the left side, we will rewrite this. Then to isolate for Q1, we divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.0025, whatever this is being multiplied to. This will cancel out these two factors. And now we take the value on our screen divided by 0 0.0025, and that makes 800. So we need 800 milliliters of a stock solution at this specific strength for us to make 4 liters of a diluted solution that has this strength. Now in case the question also asks for the amount of active ingredient, what you can do is take 
this 800, which is the total amount of the stock solution, and write it down as a fraction. Put it at the bottom of the fraction, 800 milliliters. That's the total amount. We don't know the amount of active ingredients, and that's what we're looking for. I'll place that up here using the symbol X. X divided by 800 should give you the strength of the stock solution, and that was written as 1 to 400, which is equivalent to 0.0025. I'll take that value and place it here. So X over 800 should give you 0.0025. Solving for X from here is easy. Rewrite this as a fraction as well. So we have X over 800 is equal to that fraction, and then cross multiply. 800 milliliters times 0.0025. makes 2. And 1 times x is x. Now since our stock solution is weight per volume, this 2 represents a mass. So its units have to be in grams. Now we're not told specifically whether it's in grams or another equivalent mass unit, but we're going to assume that when we're talking about weight per volume that this 2 is in grams. So there were two grams of active ingredient in the stock solution. Question number two on our list is almost identical to question number one, with the exception that the final solution is in gallons, whereas this one was in liters. Gallons is an imperial unit, whereas liters is metric. So you need to know the conversion from gallons to milliliters in order to do this question, but the rest is the same. So the conversion is that one gallon is equal to roughly 3,785 milliliters. So rather than using one gallon, use 3,785 instead. If you'd like to see the answers to questions three and four, make sure to watch part two of this series where I cover how to find the answers to these two questions. The link for part two is now shared on your screen. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.